In this lesson, we'll take a high-level look at how Spring applies the dependency injection pattern. The Spring framework is a Java framework, and Java is an object-oriented programming language. When we build applications with Java, they're comprised of many objects that collaborate together to perform a meaningful task. As a developer, one of our most important responsibilities is constructing and assembling these objects. This will often determine the quality of our application because it has a direct impact on how flexible and robust our application is. The creators of Spring decided that certain patterns and design principles should be included within the framework because they reduce coupling, increase testability, and provided other benefits that improve the quality of our applications. One of the primary patterns they chose was the dependency injection pattern. Let's look at a simple code example to better understand dependency injection. The rental service class was coded using a traditional approach. You'll see that it has a field named store locator that is instantiated using the new operator and the store locator constructor. Within the find method, the store locator is used to identify rental locations where a particular title is available. Since the rental service class directly instantiates the store locator field, it is tightly coupled to the store locator class. We refer to this as a dependency. Hard dependencies within a component increase how rigid the component is it decreases the flexibility because we cannot provide another implementation of the dependency easily. This is one of the problems Spring tries to solve with its dependency injection pattern. This diagram shows Spring's high-level dependency injection process. The process starts out by specifying our dependencies within a configuration file. The configuration file is then read by Spring's inversion of control container or the Spring IOC container. As the container reads the dependencies within the configuration file, it creates what is known as a bean. A bean is an instance of one of our dependencies, or an instance of a class. And beans are assembled and managed within the Spring IOC container. You'll see that within the Spring IOC container, the store locator bean is created and then that bean is injected into the rental service. Now this is opposed to using the new operator and the constructor of the store locator within the rental service class. So once the rental service bean is constructed, our client code can access an instance of the bean by retrieving it from the Spring container. Using this approach, Spring makes the components within our application more flexible. It increases flexibility because the dependencies within one component can be replaced with another implementation. This makes the components within our application easier to test and easier to change. As you begin to work with Spring, you'll be participating in each one of these steps. And as you work through these steps in the dependency injection process, you can return to this diagram to see how it relates to the overall picture of dependency injection within Spring.